So let me see if I got this. Leonard, uh -huh. Howard, and I'm sorry, what was your name again? Chatty. Maybe my parents are right. Maybe I'd be better off with an Indian girl. We'd have the same cultural background, and my wife could sing to my children the same lullabies my mother sang to me. It's obvious that they met well, but I'm just, I'm having a really rough time. Like I said, I broke up with my boyfriend, and it's freaking me Munna, out. Munna, ba, ba, so, ja, ba, ba. I mean, just because most of the men I've known in my life happen to be jerks, doesn't mean I should just assume Leonard and Sheldon are. Right? She asked me a question. I should probably nod. That's exactly what I thought. Thank you for listening. You're a doll. Uh-oh. Turn your pelvis. Where did my life go, Penny? One day I'm a carefree bachelor, and the next I'm married and driving a minivan to peewee cricket matches in suburban New Delhi. Are you talking to me? Is there another penny here? <laughs> I had such plans. I had dreams. I was going to be the Indira Gandhi of particle astrophysics. But with a penis, of course. <laughs> it's amazing. Ever since I was a little boy, my father wanted me to be a gynecologist like him. How can I be a gynecologist? I can barely look a woman in the eye. Can you please take that stupid hat off? No, I want to blend in. Do what? Toy Story? <laughs> Come on, you, Sherry. It's a little early, isn't it? Not on Proxima Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Jolly amusing. But if you don't mind, I'll hold off until sunset on Titan. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to fit in just fine, Dr. Kudrabali. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, am I late? No, 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 right on time. Dr. Kudrabali, may I present Dr. Millstone from MIT? She'll be heading up our data analysis team. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Kudrabali. I read your paper on Kuiper Belt object size distribution. I really enjoyed it. How did you correct for the selection bias? Well, I ran a simulation <laughs> allowed me to correct for the observational efficiency. That's just fascinating. Thank you. Would you like to hear more about it in my hot tub? <laughs> so when do I start? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but my hammer got stuck in the door on the bus. <laughs> You went with Thor? What? Just because I'm Indian, I can't be a Norse god? No, 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 Raj has to be an Indian god. That's racism. I mean, look at Wolowitz. He's not English, but he's dressed like Peter Pan. Sheldon is neither sound nor light, but he's obviously the Doppler effect. I'm not Peter Pan, I'm Robin Hood. Really? Because I saw Peter Pan, and you're dressed exactly like Kathy Rigby. <laughs> she was a little bigger than you, but it's basically the same look, man. Oh, Raj, look at you! I know, I'm resplendent like the noonday sun, am I not? Um, yeah, you're starting with the champagne a little early, aren't you? It was in the limo. They sent a limo. I have a limo, I just love saying limo. Yeah. <laughs> Sip on this while you're getting ready. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. That's what you're wearing? <laughs> um, yeah, why, what's wrong with it? That thing, I was just hoping for something a little more, you know, redonkulous. <laughs> yeah, well, this is all the donkulous you're gonna get tonight. 
<laughs> Okie dokie, let's roll. So you guys are seriously considering this? Yes. And you think you can put up with Sheldon? Well, I'm a Hindu. My religion teaches that if we suffer in this life, we are rewarded in the next three months at the North Pole with Sheldon, and I'm reborn as a well-hung billionaire with wings. Hey, Leonard. Yeah. I haven't had sex in a year. <laughs> Where are you going with this, Raj? Don't flatter yourself, dude. I want to go out and meet a woman. So go. Well, I need a wingman. I don't want to come off like a lonely loser. <laughs> and you think my presence will help with that? <laughs> well, I do. Uh, next to you, I look like a catch. You said I could buy a desk. But this isn't a desk. This is a Brobdingnagian monstrosity. <laughs> is that the American idiom for giant big-ass desk? <laughs> it's actually British. <laughs> Can you say it again for me? Brobdingnagian. One more time? Brobdingnagian. Not three times fast? Brobdingnagian. Brobdingnagian. <laughs> How did you even get it in here? That's for me, Ramon, Julio, Jesus, and Rodrigo to know, and you to find out. All right, you've made your point. A fine prank, very amusing. <laughs> now get it out. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I have three brothers and two sisters, Sheldon. I can do this all day. All right. If you're not going to remove it, I'll remove it for you. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Help me move my desk. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Stu Brobdingnagian. <laughs> Why do you even want this here? Its size is completely disproportionate to its purpose. Well, seeing as its purpose was to piss you off, I'd say it's spot on. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I screwed up. Leonard's a great guy. Never should have broken up with him. Well, uh, to paraphrase Shakespeare, it's better to have love than lost than to stay home every night and download increasingly shameful pornography. 